24, 2014, in the year of our Lord, this Christmas Eve. One thing that's very cool about the services, uh, just about the time that will be over, it will be Christmas morning, and we celebrate the birth of our Lord and our Savior. We welcome you tonight. It's great to have Brian Bacon with us as our uh, guest pianist and, uh, and, and organist. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Also, David Conklin, my colleague from uh, Bethany Lutheran Church. Uh, not anymore. He's retired. And uh, it's good to have you in the house of the Lord with us tonight. Amen. I first met Dave. We were both uh, in Trenton. And you were on a Habitat for Humanity job. And I gave you a ride from Trenton to you. And uh, the rest is history, right? Amen. Then we found ourselves down here, and we've been here about 23 years, right? Amen. 22. Yeah, amen. Amen. I was slightly his senior here. Amen. <laughs> Very slightly. Amen. <laughs> the change that Christmas brings, that's going to be our focus. We have the Lord's table tonight. And uh, the change that Christmas brings. That's our focus tonight. So let's stand together and for our opening chorus, let's sing Majesty, number 176. We'll be on the wall, you don't have to worry about it in the hymnal. 176, Majesty. Thank you. 
be in the prayer found in your bulletin or better yet on the wall. Please join with me. God of angels and babies, fill the skies with light and song and fill our hearts with wonder and peace. For on this night, a window to heaven opens and we catch a glimpse of an incredible love which descends as a child. Oh, let the angels sing and let our hearts be softened. Let our lives be filled anew with hope and joy. God of the shepherds and stars, open to us the miracle of your love, which enters the world and our lives this holy night. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Please. <coughs> now we're going to light the Christ candle. The first time I ever uh, lit the Christ candle, I was at Edward United Methodist Church. I was the young assistant pastor. Gwen and I were doing it together. This is actually the first Christmas Eve service that Gwen isn't with me. She's, she's taking care of somebody right now. And uh, she was able to be with me at 7, but not able to be with me now. So I said, that was the United Methodist Church. The, it was the 11 o'clock service. Uh, and the tradition at that, at that church, the, the service was packed. Five minutes before I went out, I, I showed uh, the senior pastor this little poem that, you know, he was born in a village, you know, armies have come, armies have gone, you know, it's like the one solitary life thing about Jesus. And I said, I'm going to say this when I light the Christ candle. And he said to me, John, I'm going to use that at the end of my sermon. <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> so it's like, uh-oh, I better not use this, you know. So... I went to light the Christ candle, and I, I handed Gwen the wrong end of the candle. And so I, I said, and we will now light the Christ candle. And of course, with the wrong end, you know, it was just like that thing. It's not, you know, she's trying to get a light, and I handed her the wrong end of the candle. And you know, which many times in my life I've handed my wife the wrong end of the candle. <laughs> you know? And, uh, and you know, so then, you know, about a long minute later, and we will now light the Christ candle. But then I realized he gave it the wrong end. And then it's like, dear Lord, give me something to say since I'm not going to be able to read this poem. And then I'm going to say tonight what I said then. God is faithful. And God is faithful and will not let us down. And God, whether it's God or life, oftentimes we're in a position where we know that we know that we need God. And that's one of the best places to be in life. Because God is faithful. And oftentimes he's the God of 1159.59. And he doesn't do dry runs. He waits to show up for the real thing. And my testimony is that God is faithful. And we light the Christ candle this night and we say that God is faithful. All God's people said. Amen. Amen. And Brian's going to bless us with a very special piece of music at this time. 